As eyes turn to the Silver State to determine the next president, the Nevada Supreme Court is determined to keep up the suspense. The Nevada Supreme Court has ruled that mail-in ballots without a postmark, without a postmark, shall be counted up to three days after November 5th. Some are calling this a win for democracy, while others say the ruling directly contradicts state law. But the Nevada Supreme Court says pay no mind. Nevada state law, passed overwhelmingly by Democrats, mind you, clearly states a mail ballot received must be postmarked on or before the day of the election and received no later than 5 p.m. on the fourth day after the day of the election. We must restore trust in our elections again. That's the black letter law. It's in their books. The United States Supreme Court got the message and allowed Virginia to purge non-citizens off of their voter rolls according to their laws in order to restore trust in our system and democracy. So why are these judges determined to sow doubt? What laws are they upholding if they are clearly going against the ones that are written and in the books? Joining us now, Jim Paff of the Conservative Caucus, who is trying to fire up voters to the polls in the last few days of this election. Jim, thank you for joining us. Great to be here, Chanel. Thank you for having me. What concerns you about this story in Nevada? Do you think it will actually be as big of a problem as some of the critics say it will be? Or what is your thinking well, on this? It's already a problem because it violates Article 2, Section 1, Clause 2 of the Constitution. No state court has the authorization to change voting laws. And the, as you rightly noted in your run-up there, the law is very clear that they must be postmarked by Election Day, period. It cannot be any different. It couldn't be clearer in that law. So the Supreme Court, who I, I guess believes that some voters will be disenfranchised, uh, sadly is pushing a more Democrat political agenda in their ruling in violation of our U.S. Constitution. And, and it was great to see what happened in Virginia because that was an assertion of our laws. You know, often the uh, 14th Amendment is used as a reason to violate, uh, uh, you know, citizen ID for voting. But the reality is that it, it set, talks about citizens and the uh, assertion of citizenship in all the requirements of the 14th Amendment, which include voting and, in fact, it's explicitly protected voting in that way. So so anyway, it's a problem to begin with. It is uh, they better be ramping up in the Trump campaign and in the RNC to make a legal challenge here because they violated the law. Well, is there I mean, we only have a few days before the election. Is there realistically enough time to lodge a resistance from this ruling? Well, I, I believe that they are attempting to do that, but uh, you know, the, the U.S. Supreme Court has to rule on this. So uh, hopefully it'll get there. But even after the election, there's a cause of action here. You know, in 2020, most of the 60 cases that the Trump campaign tried to bring up questioning certain election irregularities, they were kicked out on standing, which is absurd because I think Donald Trump was the only one who had standing on these, uh, likely. And uh, so they need to they need to go back at that. I think it'll it's valid to do that. See, because everyone got upset with Trump for doing that in 2020, but this is the way we deal with these problems is in the courts. That's our final place of standing. So uh, I hope that they're going to keep pressing forward. There is a cause of action before and after the election. Makes it messy, but you know what? Freedom's messy. We've got to, to deal with these issues. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.